Hey everyone, it's Brian with Brian's Unique Guitars and I've got a unique one for you today. Speaking of today, it's a July 4th weekend and I want to say happy July 4th to everyone. No matter what time of year it is, God bless the USA, right? Anyways, so this one here has a pretty cool story behind it too. I've actually bought this um, this goes back to kind of my early times of just starting to get into kind of buying, selling guitars and collecting. And I came across this one in a pawn shop. And this one was actually listed for 150 originally in November, 20, uh, November 25th, 2017. And I went in on January 29th, 2018. And January 27th, the price had just fell at Easy Pawn, how they do it by dates, to 120. So. I think I probably still tried to negotiate them to 120 out the door cash, and I think they did 120 plus tax <clears throat> um, based on the receipt. When I look back on it, but uh, it's just an example of, of great deals that you know can be found in pawn shops. Even came with the original, you know, nice felt whatever gold line chipboard case. It says Epiphone on it, so I assume it's original. But anywho. <laughs> Really cool guitar, what really makes this uh, unique. So this is the Epiphone FT200 1976 Bicentennial Edition with the star inlays and the really cool headstock here um, with the eagle in it. So being that it's a uh, July 4th weekend, I um, wanted to get this out and share it with everyone. Let's see if I can do a little salute to our country. Ball. No, so this is just a uh, really cool example, like I said, of what can be found in a pawn shop. It's just a, a $130 guitar paid for it. I've seen these not really sold online too often, but going back years ago for $400 and one for $800. So, anyways, thanks for checking it out. Brian's Unique Guitars. Don't forget to subscribe if you like unique Japanese guitars and stuff made in the 70s.